everyone, welcome back. I'm Murdo Todd. I'm delighted to be joined by Bellator's number five ranked middleweight contender, Johnny Evelyn. How are you, my friend? Great. Thank you very much for your time. So you take on Colin Hotbody next weekend. How are you feeling just over a week out? Really good. Training's been going really well. My diet's been going really well. My weight's coming down uh, just how I want it. Is there anything about this camp? Is there anything about this camp that's been different or that stood out to you? No, pretty much similar to all my past camps. Just uh, st steadily getting better and better. Uh, we'll bring in different types of guys depending on the guy I'm fighting. So, what makes what makes a successful camp for you that you know you can look back at the end of it and kind of know it went well and you can be confident in yourself? No injuries and seeing growth in certain aspects of my game. Um, that's that's how I usually judge my camp going well what have you been looking to what skills you've been looking to develop recently uh just mixing my wrestling and, and striking together uh working a little bit more on my kickboxing being more elusive in in in, in my striking also you know I, i've been perfecting my uh bjj game a little bit more so your opponent colin uh what stands out to you like what stands out most about his game to you just a a tall rangy guy that has a decent, you know, kickboxing background, or not a kickboxing background. He has decent striking based off what I've seen uh, via videos. Also, he has a, a good uh, grappling background, has a lot of submissions, um, likes to fight. He, he gets in there. He has, he has a good amount of fights. He, he has, he's, what, 10 and 3? So somewhat of a vet, but I think I'm going to put it on him and have fun with it. How much of an issue do you think he could be on, on, on Saturday? Uh, as much of an issue as I want him to be. Um, if I don't come in prepared and, and, and all uh, guns blazing, he could be a big problem. But I don't think that's going to be the case. So how's Saturday night going to end? Not sure, but there will be 15 minutes of just pure violence. If it gets done before that, that would be great. If not, it's going to be a lot of fun for 15 minutes. Amazing. So Colin's coming to this unranked. Is it frustrating not to get a guy in the top 10? Uh, it's all right. It is what it is. Um, I'm not a great matchup for people. I more asked Bellator to, to set this up. I was supposed to fight ranked opponents previously, but they ended up falling through. Um, I like to fight. I, I like to stay active. I really enjoy getting in that cage and, and, and putting on a performance in front of fans. So this is the best thing they could, they could set up and, it's an unranked guy. It's all good. I'm not really too worried about that. You know, is it kind of a trade off? Because this is your third fight in seven months. You know, maybe you're not fighting guys in the top 10, but you know, you're keeping active and you're evolving. Yep. That's the point. Uh, just to stay active, keep evolving, get that fight experience and have fun with it. Do you feel any kind of added pressure when you're facing a guy that, you know, on paper you're supposed to beat? Uh, say that you you kind of uh oh sorry uh, do you feel any like added pressure when you're going into a fight with a guy that you know you, on paper you're supposed to beat no no pressure just go in do do what I need to do and and get the job done you know as you said that um, you've had you've had more notable names thrown your way after this one you know is it a case of maybe you want to sit out and, and wait for these guys what what was that again sorry Sorry, um, is it like an, is it a case of after this one that you might want to wait out and uh, wait for the guys in the top 10? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, after this, I'm going to definitely need a fight that makes more sense. So, yeah, I, I, I would be – the thing is, this I could have sat out this one. I, I didn't really have to fight this one. I could have waited till next year to fight, fight a ranked guy. So this is kind of more of a fill-in fill -in, uh, fight for me. Not, not saying like I'm not taking it serious by any means. I'm taking it highly serious. The dude signed a contract saying he, he thinks he can put me away. Or maybe he doesn't think he can put me away, but maybe he thinks he can win the fight. And I take that as disrespect, so I'm going to put it on this motherfucker. Sorry if I can't uh, cuss on this. But anyway, th that's the point. I, I like to stay active. I want to stay fighting. Uh, it's not a ranked opponent. So be it. I don't like to sit around and wait. Uh, after this... I'm sure we can make something happen to where uh, it's me versus an, another ranked guy. Ideally, who would that rank by in the perfect world? Who would that rank guy be? John Salter, because I've already signed a contract to fight him. I was supposed to fight him in uh, November at the Hard Rock down here in Florida. But he ended up having an injury and had to pull out. So that's something I've already signed and sealed and was ready to do. 
And then they pushed me to this card and I was supposed to fight Mike Shipman, but that fell through. So now I'm with Colin, but anyway, yeah, the first fight that I really had, like my dream set on, I'm like, bro, I really want this one was John Salter. So after this, uh, that'd be a great fight to, to put together. Well, hopefully they can put that uh, put that on next. Uh, um, so it seems like Austin Vanderford is going to be next in line uh, for Gegard Mousasi. Um, how do you feel? How do you see that one going? I think it's going to be a close fight, but I think Austin can pull out the victory. Okay, so if he, if he gets that gets that victory and he's champion, and uh, obviously you guys are teammates, and you're you know you're next in line, is that a, is that a fight you feel comfortable taking? One hundred percent. This is all a businessman, and I'm a businessman. And I like to fight and I like to have fun. And I like to go in there and just paint a picture, a violent picture. And if you pay me enough money and it's for a belt, I'll pretty much fight anybody. So how, how, how long until, uh, until the fans get to see you fight for the title? How long do you think it'll be? I'm sure they'll see me fight for a title next year. Okay. So, so also next week is Sergio Pettis defending his title. Um, how do you see the main, how do you see the main event going? I think Kyoji puts him away. Kyoji is very gifted, very elusive, very fast. Yeah, man, I, uh, that's also a teammate of mine, but he's a really good dude. I, I really think he puts him away. Okay, so last one for me. What, what can fans from expect from you? Any last messages to the fans? Now just watch me December 3rd. I'm going to put these diamond hands on Colin Hawk body. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for your time. Much appreciated. Best of luck. Yes, sir. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.